Hello everyone, welcome back to the session of file manipulations again. In this session, we are going to work on some of the file comparison commands like CUMM, CMP, DIFF and UNIC command. So let's just start with the first command which is our CUMM command and let's see that how to work with it. What does the CUMM command do is it displays the common line for the two files. So what is the syntax? We have CUMM and then you can use switches and then the name of the file one and the name of the second file. We can also use a switch. So what does it do? It will display the common line for file one and file two. Now if you are using the switches, uh, if you use minus one, then it will not display the first column. The first column is for the uncommon ones for the file one. If you are using the minus two switch, it will not display the common. Uh, it will not display the second column. The second column is basically the uncommons for the file two. And minus three option is it will not display the third column, which is the common which is, is found for the file one and file two. Now let's see that what is the uh, next command which we are going to work on is our CMP command. This command is used to compare two files byte by byte. So it will check character by character and is going to display the first term um, difference of the character, first byte difference. So to understand, let's just move to you and work on these. So now we are in dollar round. Let's just create a file to, un to use those concepts. So scat and then I'm creating a file as file one. Okay, so now I'm uh, entering some details inside that APC. Now while entering, just remember one thing in your mind. Better to keep the contents of that file in a sorted order. Otherwise, it's going to display a warning message saying that it is not sorted. So I'm putting all my details in a sorted order. Okay, now I close the file. I'm going to create another file by the name as file2 and here I'm going to put uh, some more details back then cello. Uh, you can put of your choice uh, whatever you like just make sure that it isn't sorted. If you don't want to use sorted if you're not putting the data in sorted order, you can use your sort command and then pipe it with the command, uh, cumm command. So that is the other way which you can use. Okay, so now I'm going to use cumm command. So cumm and then file 1 and then the file 2. So let's see what is it going to display. So you can see it has displayed three in columns. The first column is for the file 1, the uncommons for the file 1. Now second column is for the uncommons for the file 2 and the third one is the common which it finds for the file 1 and for file 2. Now let's also work with the switches which we had just discussed right now. If I use minus 1 and then I make it file 1. So will the output differ? Yes. It will not display the only the first column will be suppressed. So it will display only the second column which is for file 2 and the common ones for both the files. If I want, I can uh, change the switch and make it as minus 2. Now, let's see what is going to display. Now, it is going to suppress my second column. I can also combine the switches and make it as, so if I combine, it's going to suppress both the first column and the second column. So if I enter, only the third column is displayed. Uh, now, if I put minus 3, then what happens? Then it suppresses my, so you can also, use other uh, combinations like minus 1 3 then it is not displaying the first column and the third column oh now in this case only the first column and the second column gets displayed okay now i think this is clear so let's move to the next command which is a cmp for that again we'll create another file because it's going to compare byte by byte so let's better to create another file here and we'll write hello sorry Hello, um, how are you? Are you okay? And then we'll just close the file. Now I'll keep another file and create one another file. Uh, and then here I'm going to write same as hello, but I'm going to change after that saying I am fine. And then I'm going to press control. Control C. Yeah, we press Control D or Control C, and then to come to back to the command prompt. Control C or Control D. 
okay now i am back in my command prompt now we'll just use the another command cmp and i'm going to use file one sorry file x and the file y now what this shows that in the byte 7 there's a difference so if we can count it to know h is the first byte e is the second byte so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seventh is the h and i so h and i are different so it is positioned in the seventh byte seventh position that's why it shows byte 7 so you need to count from the beginning till it you counted the difference which is h and i so this is how your cmp command works now let's move to the other command which is diff command for that let's just again create another file cat and file okay we'll use now z and what are we going to give here let's give file one or we can use uh, sorry we can let's write hello and what and then next yes so some strings I have entered control just press enter now let's create another file cat and file y okay, this. cat and then file y okay now here what are we going to enter let's press as high and okay we'll put as y as a string and then next one let's make it same and we'll close it okay now after that we are going to use diff command diff and then we give file z and the other file name is file y and enter now what it does that it shows you that first if you see 1 comma 2 c1 2 it says that by using diff command first it will show that what is the difference between these two files and by seeing c c is for changing you can make file z and file y identical so it shows you that how you can make identical so from for the first file from 1 to 2 if you change to 1 to 2 for the second file then the file z and the file y will become exactly same so that is what the diff command does it tells you that uh, how you can change from one file to another what is the difference and how you can make that change using the c we also have in this like append or uh, other things by which you can so the main concept is to how to make one file identical it will show you the way so how this is how you can use your diff command now let's move to the another command which is your unique command so for that we'll just create one file again cat and let's give the file as emp okay in this i'm going to enter certain details let's say e and then and then again space you can put it as mkt Now let's enter the another data E and 002 and let's give another name. Okay, and then so I'm giving just one space between all of them. And then again one space and I enter MKT again I enter E and 003 and then again I'm going to give some name. And then C003. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to after entering this I'm going to enter one more data but having the same data E003 and then same name and C003 again. Again I give the same name. So I'm just keeping the same data here and I'm going to put one more data E and then I'm going to put 001 same as the first one again c001 again we are going to put mkt okay let's put one more data now 
E0004 and I'm going to enter some name. Okay, and then I give a space and enter a C004 and then again let's put as admin. D okay admin and then I just close the file. Now we are going to use a unique command. So I'm just giving unique and the file name. So emp is the file name. Let's see what it displays. Now if you see that it has only removed the uh, e003 anurag c003 plot. It was I have written it twice, so it has made it once. Even though E001 Shagufa C001 MKT is same, but it does not remove because if it is together, it is consecutive, then only it is going to remove. If it is put up in different places, then it is not going to remove. That is not treating as the same. So it will treat both as identically only when they are together in consecutive. Okay. Now let's use some switches in this admin and then use minus u and we are using the emp now what it does uh, oh, sorry we have to write unique and then minus u i'm sorry for the command minus u and then if you type it it will display <coughs> excuse me now you can see that it has displayed only the lines which are unique, which are consecutive to same that it is not displaying. So only the unique lines gets displayed in this case. Now if we change it to uh, minus D, now it will display only the duplicate ones. Let's just see. So, oh, sorry again, I by mistake this admin is coming. We'll just change it to unique and minus so again, the wrong command. So we have here unique and then we give minus D to for duplicate and the file name. So EMP. So it displays only and only the line which is a duplicate one which is consecutive to duplicate. Now let's see if we make it as minus C what happens. I'm removing it minus C and then I'm displaying it. So what it shows that it shows each and every line how many times it is repeated. As I said, since Azunag is repeated twice consecutive, that's why it's showing as a repeated one. Okay, so this is what we have discussed the DIFF as we saw that it analyzes two files and prints the lines that are different. So it tells you how to change and make the file one as file two. And the next which we saw was a unique command which is used to display the duplicated unique lines of the file. So we just saw with the options also how to work with the minus u option, minus d and minus c option. So I hope this is clear. Uh, let's uh, see some more commands in the next session. Thank you so much.